What is going on, guys? This is Thunderbolt here, and today, I made a game. Yes, that's right, I made a game. Um, I call it the Minecraft Game of Chance. It's kind of like a game of chance. So here's what happens. So I have the little icon over here. Minecraft, something of death. Show package contents. Yeah, mine, Minecraft, the game of life or death. So that's what I called it. And... I used AppleScript, which I just discovered on my laptop, um, AppleScript editor, um, using some uh, AppleScript techniques and code and whatnot, I was able to create this. What AppleScript is, it's pretty much a um, Apple-based coding, and you're allowed to create applications where you can make shortcuts. Like, for instance, I've made a YouTube wormhole where... I just pretty much activate the application, and then I have a whole list of stuff that I could go to. So let's just move this out of the way. So today I decided to create a game of chance. Now, it's not necessarily a game of chance per se, because it doesn't have a randomizer. So if I pick choice 1, and I click OK, um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, that one's an automatic death. I believe this one you... um burn to a crisp in lava. But if I were to exit out of the application and pick choice one again, it's not going to be different. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to make a randomizer yet, but it's it's a start. So it's kind of like a guessing game. And here's the premise. You were captured and taken hostage for infiltrating the End, the Ender King's home domain. The Ender King is using a game of chance to determine your fate. Each button holds a different death, except for one. Choose your button wisely and hope that you pick the right one. So you have four choices here. You have choice one, choice two, choice three, and choice four. So I'm going to go through all of them and I'm going to show you what it is. Then I'm going to cut the recording and I'm going to show you the code that went into this. So I'm going to pick choice one. And you burn to a crisp in lava. Try again. Uh, you're going to have to reload the application. So let's pick choice two. You fell down a hole and hit the ground too hard. Try again. Try it again. Let's pick choice three. You live. Now go. Before the Ender King changes his mind. Respawn at surface. And choice four is obviously going to be a death because there's only one right answer. So I pick OK. Banished to the nether. Tortured by blazes and then slain by zombie pigmen. By far, this is probably my favorite one. Um, and then I made another one for my friend. Sorry, Zach. Now you have to die. No, wait. Let's have you choose your own fate. Either you live or you die. Choose wisely. Zach's fate number one. Sorry you died. Zach's fate number two. Sorry mate, you suck at this game. And fate number three. Congrats, you passed. So, the code that went into this is actually quite simple. And hang on a second, let me just bring up the code. Alright, so uh, here's Apple Script. I just brought it up and I'm going to go to File, Open. On my desktop, uh, not uh, Minecraft, the game of life or death. So here's all the code that went into this. Pretty much, you have to choose from a list of items, which go into these curly brackets, and then each choice item goes into quotes. And then you can say with prompt, which is pretty much the, the storyline that was above the app. Uh, and that's the whole story. I'm actually going to change some of the wording. Choose a button wisely and hope that you pick correctly, not the right one, because pick correctly. And compile that. Now, pretty much the entire application is based off of if-else statements. So if the result is choice one, then it will display text or display dialogue. You burn to a crisp in lava. Then it's going to have a button saying try again, and it's going to be the default button one. Else, because in order to complete the if-else statement, you have to have an else. Underneath, I have another if statement, but to finish that off, you have to have an end if. And then you have another else, dialog3, dialog4, and a bunch of end if statements. As a matter of fact, it's quite easy to make something like this. Now, if you have a Mac, because this is only open to Macs, if you have a Mac, then you could go on YouTube, search uh, how to create a simple game in Apple Script. Uh, how to code in Apple Script, and you can learn all of this stuff. It's pretty easy, and it didn't take me a while. 
but this is all the code that went into this. It didn't take me long to make. And as a matter of fact, for a person who's trying it out for the first time, oop, oh, it has to be. Whoops. Okay. All right, I need to um, re-export this. So save it. Minecraft, the game of life or death. And I think I saved it. So let's compile this. Yep. And let's see. Choose but choose your button wisely and hope that uh it didn't compile correctly. All right. Either way, it need, it needs a little bit of tweaking. But um. Anyway, this is pretty much the entire Minecraft game that I made. Uh, so if you want to see some more Apple Script stuff, comment below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you